Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I appreciate your time. It's kind of early. I apologize. I uh, just wanted to do two things. I want to give you a quick update of something that popped off last night, as well as a reminder that at 9.55 a.m., excuse me, <clears throat> this morning, I will be covering the House Judiciary Committee's markup of the new omnibus gun control package, and that's H.R. 7910. Uh, that was the uh, Protecting Our Kids Act. That has the safe storage uh, laws built in, in several of them. Uh, it has the magazine ban built into it, a ghost gun ban, a registry. There's all kinds of stuff built into that. If you haven't heard of that bill, please watch the live video I did. I'll, I'll link it above. I go through the bill just as it was uh, announced by Jerry Nadler that they would be marking it up today in an emergency session for the House Judiciary Committee. They've called people back from recess early to vote on violating our rights. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, there's a lot of pollen, a lot of pollen out today here in Mass. Uh, so I will have that live, uh, just a reminder. So check it out. I'll also link that video down below and up above too. Uh, what I want to tell you now is last night, Nancy Pelosi came out and she said that once this stuff is marked up today, the House will take up an assault weapons ban. Uh, I'm going to give you her quick quote. Uh, she said, Quote, we will be having a hearing and marking up the assault weapon ban as soon as the House addresses several pieces of legislation, including the package the House Judiciary Committee will mark up today. She was at a uh, gun violence rally in San Francisco, and she also said, quote, we're just trying to hit it in every way possible, referring to the shootings across the country. Uh, again, I say it all the time. Criminals are going to be criminals. There's not a single law anybody can pass. Anybody can dream up that will automatically make a criminal all of a sudden say, oh, well, I'm going to stop doing this. Remember, murder is illegal, but people still murder people. And they have since the beginning of time, whether it was a gun, a pickaxe, a rock, uh, it doesn't matter. Um, you can't stop or legislate the evil in the hearts of men and women. But this is just an opportunity for them to push their agenda to try to get rid of the one thing that stops complete control, and that is our Second Amendment. Another thing that she said, she said, of course, we want the Senate to pass the background check legislation, which will save more lives than any of the initiatives we have. Uh, she's referring to H.R. 8 and H.R. Uh, 1446. That is the universal background check law or bill. Uh, what that is is a national registration and uh, H.R. 1446 is the uh, well, H.R. 8 and H.R. 1446 paired up. Uh, the second one stops the person-to-person -person private transfer of firearms. They don't want that to happen because they can't track them. I also want to just put, throw this out there. Riddle me this. Maybe if I'm wrong, let me know. Of all of the, uh, the mass shootings that have happened, uh, and it seems it always ramps up when there's a Democrat in control, um, hospitals... Um, major businesses, uh, schools, they're all places that are gun-free zones. Coincidence? No. Joe Biden created and wrote the uh, gun-free zone law. All right, guys, I'll see you at uh, five minutes to 10. I'll go live for this hearing, uh, and we'll just watch what they say, what they do on this bill, and uh, we'll go from there. Till we see each other again, be safe, stay vigilant, carry a gun, to keep you, your friends, your family, your community safe, because that's what the Second Amendment is for. Whether they like it or not, they're not changing it. Take care.